You know, when I reviewed that game, the Cheetah Man 2, it was a bad game. It was so bad that I purposely left the voiceover because I was trying to show you just the footage itself. And I think probably some people would still um, turn away from this game by the footage itself. And um, the way it was played. I mean, you can't have any duck in that game. You can't even um, shoot right. The jumping's so weird. And an impassable fourth level. That's right, that eight man I showed you was from the fourth level. And I got stuck, no matter how you beat him. You know, that's. Um, you know what? That's Active Enterprises' work. But now I shall show you a predecessor to that game. It is, um, includes the Cheatham in one, but there's 51 other games on it. Um, but they are so bad, you probably ra rather would eat a rotten apple, or even probably just get shot by a shotgun 52 times to play that crap again. Now onto my memories, my childhood to my adult memories now. I've grown up with Atari 2600 and i known about Yars Revenge and uh, several other great Atari games. I remember Super Mario Brothers from the 8-bit Nintendo. I remember the Super Mario World for Super Nintendo and Final Fantasy. Street Fighter, and all these other good games from the Sony Playstations 1, 2, and 3. And then there's some, some people over on YouTube mentioning Action 52. I thought, I, I mean, what one thing it was says, oh, it's, I mean, it's too bad to be true or something. Are they just faking it out in that game? So therefore, um, I tried that game out and they were not lying. Believe me. That was my nightmare. Nothing but crappy shootings. I think 50, like 60% of these are shooters. And then um, I went on and bought and purchased it from the internet and I went on and purchased it from eBay about $135 it came in a purple box that says ultimate challenge 52 games in one cartridge and in the back of the box play 52 exciting and original games exciting and original after 20 copies of shooters and 10 copies of crappy platformers? I don't think so. Well, here we go to our show of Action 52. The worst game ever on the 8-bit Nintendo. And here we go. Alright, now before I review the game, um, actually, I'm not going to do it in this episode. That, um, in fact, in this episode, I'm just going to be showing you the packaging of um, I'm going to be doing the, action, um, the game. There it is, the box, and I mean, it looks cool on the cartridge, and I'm saying, hey, I mean, this p pretty box, and I go to the shelf here, and have that Action 52 of the exploding here, and I think I like it here. Yeah, the Ultimate Challenge, 52 games in one cartridge. Yeah, I played it, and it was anything but, I played it, and it's just ain't anything but that here. Yeah, $199. I mean, like, if you want to pay $199 for 52 rotten apples, certainly wouldn't. I mean, 
uh, if it's like 52 decent games to be 199 dollars, but probably wouldn't accept it if it's like 52 uh, pieces of garbage anyway. And it says you know 52 new and original games and stuff, but you know when I played that, um, when I played this game, I mean they weren't new and original. I mean they're just generic shooters and like crappy, like really crappy shooters and platformers that can't rival Mario at all. I mean, like all these Mario and some platforms. But of course you get the cool artwork. You got, but well, actually they got Billy Bob wrong. He doesn't look like this in the game. He looks more like Indiana Jones in that. And plus you got the all the other ones here. The logo again and they even put a seal of quality, probably you know, just for advertisement. And oh man, I call it a seal of horrors. And it's Active Enterprises Ltd. Wow. Surprised they can even style their phones here. Probably wouldn't even surprise they just don't even put a style here. Okay, inside the package you get the cartridge. And, um, this is the cartridge that comes from. Nice, clear case. They're even generic enough to show us the circuit board inside the cartridge with all the RAM chips. I probably want to take them out and throw them in their faces after I had to play that game. <laughs> At least they probably designed the cartridge pretty good. And also in there you get one, and also you get there and you get a sheet. And on that sheet, on the thing, it says, it labels A, B, and C. But it seemed to me label everything it says the, um, for teenagers or something. That was really strange to me because according to the one that says, older kids and adults and early teens and teens, it probably would have been the same thing to me. I think what they probably makes more sense if it says A for, a for um, kids, B for um, teens, and C for adults is probably, you know, they can't label stuff right. And of course, you just divide the stuff in the three games. But I think I'd probably divide it up in the one game and says don't play any of them because they suck. And that's the sheet there. They can't even, which is like meaningless because of all the games I played. And of course, you got the instruction book. One of the crappiest instruction book I've ever seen here. Yeah, it looks cool like stuff there. And you had the action for the two and the images again. But looking inside... All you get is just one small tip and just this controller and it says like this is how you play by using the controllers and stuff which is probably the thing it is here and you got every game with one page on top here and then the tip poorly written instruction book. They probably probably um, should have you know make the box a little bigger and give us like three or four pages per instruction book uh, per game. Now that it is here. And they got the tip, and, and they got one of these tips wrong. Um, like, put the car uh, carrier into some of here. Like, put your, um, whatever it is in your ship in the bowl. Well, that's in, um, critical pie path. Where all you're doing is, in the game, to me, it's like, sh you're a circle shooting stones and stuff like that. But, it's a poorly written instruction book. It's one page of garbage. And of course, at the end, you get if you want to have the full tips, you have to pay a dollar for each one. They can't write instructions at all, but at least they can do artwork. Yeah, they actually copy the image from the box and uh, put in instructions. At least they know how to copy and stuff, but they can't know. They don't know how to label stuff part of the games and stuff but basically this is the packaging the only cool thing about this that's the only cool thing about the game is the cute packaging of the image and stuff you can look at it and of course this nifty little cartridge but that's the packaging and that's it for episode 1 in action 52 and um and I'll start going to the games in episode 2 that's it. JD out.